Hi there, welcome to an initial um, unboxing and a very quick review of TELUS's brand new HTC Touch Diamond and I'm going to do a full review of the phone in the very near future. Today I'm just going to do a really quick intro in terms of what this phone is all about. And if we're going to start with the phone uh, turned off and I'm just going to show you a few features of the phone and we're going to start with the back of the phone. And I think the reason I'm going to start with the back of the phone is that a lot of people were interested in terms of TELUS's version or the CDMA version of the Touch Diamond in comparison to the GSM version. And you can see that it definitely does not have the multifaceted back that the GSM version has, but instead, and I wouldn't be disappointed, it has this great HTC back uh, backing that the original HTC Touch had. And I really like that for the, the primary reason is that I don't want to drop this thing. And if I have some slippery back, it's going to shoot out of my hand just like the iPhone. And I've had an iPhone and I've dropped it many times and each time it got uglier. So I don't want to make this phone ugly and I want to make sure that I'm going to be able to hold on to it. And it feels very sturdy in the hand. It doesn't feel like it's going to slip out at all. The front of the phone is a very nice, shiny, glossy front. Beautiful phone. Um, it's not too thick. It definitely is thicker than the GSM version. I have seen the GSM version firsthand. It is thinner. But that's not to despair. I don't think it's a really thick phone. We'll grab Papa Smurf here. Papa Smurf stands yay high. I don't know if you can see it. And he's definitely thinner than Papa Smurf's head. And I think that's important as long as the phone is thinner than Papa Smurf's head you're in business. So I think it's a, a nice uh, size. Okay, let's turn it on. And I'll just bring it here so you can see how beautiful this screen is. Um, the first time I turn this phone on, and I'm just gonna go to the home um, screen here, I was blown away with how clear the resolution is. And I don't think I could ever go back to a QVGA screen after using a VGA screen. Um, it's absolutely phenomenal. Um, I'm just going to quickly go through the touch flow and the touch flow definitely does not have lag as some people complained with the original uh, ROMs that were released by HTC and I think this TELUS ROM is very fast and in the few minutes that I've used it I haven't had too many complaints. Um, I'm just gonna, well, let's go back to the home screen here. I'm having to look through a camera and touch the touch flow so it's a little bit tricky. If you see I'm just dragging through there's no lag at all. So I'm going to go into photos and pictures and I'm just going to flick through the photos and pictures and we'll go to one of the stock pictures that came with the phone and the first thing I'm going to demonstrate here is does the accelerometer work? Yes, it does. Let's turn it over. Look at that. So the accelerometer works very nicely. Next thing quickly on this very initial review here of this phone is let's move over to the sweet Opera browser. Okay. I have to say that using the BlackBerry 8830, I was ready to kill myself um, every time I had to use the internet horrible and it's supposed to be um, an EVDO ready phone um, now this is an EVDO revision A phone so the, the speed should be faster but the biggest issue here is having a browser and enough uh, processing power and RAM to render the pages quickly this has it and I have to say the Opera browser probably isn't as good as the, as the Safari browser um, because I haven't used it long enough I can't say for sure um, I am very impressed with the Safari browser but I have to say that just by using this for just a few minutes I'm impressed so let's launch it well quickly Google um, starts up and I'm gonna go to my bookmarks here some bookmarks and I'm go to my favorites and I'm gonna click on Everybody's favorite, Howard Forums. Alright, Howard Forums, go nuts. Okay. That's the entire page, loaded. 
My BlackBerry 830, I'd be there for about half an hour before it finally loads. Um, the next question people had is, is in the Opera browser, does the accelerometer work? Now, I originally thought it didn't work, but it does. So I'll turn it over now. Here, there's a tiny bit of lag, but you can see that it actually works quite well. And I'll go back to the original one here. There we go. Um, so that's my very quick review of the um, brand new wonderful phone from TELUS um, being the HTC Touch Diamond and I will be doing a further and more in-depth review of this phone very soon once I get a chance to play with it a little bit more. But hopefully this will whet your appetite and if you're thinking about getting one, go get one. You will not be disappointed.